All right, we are going to simplify square roots today. Um, we all know that the square root of 9 is 3, or the square root of 81 is 9, square root of 4 is 2, but square root of 8, hmm. Um, we have a list of perfect squares, and that list of perfect squares goes something like this. 1 squared is 1. 2 squared is 4, 3 squared is 9, 16 is 4 squared, 5 squared is 25. Um, pause the video, fill out the rest of this list until you hit 15 squared. So we have 36, 49, 8 squared is 64, 9 squared is 81, then comes 100, that's 10 squared, 121. 144 is 12 squared, 169, 13 squared, 14 squared is 196, and 15 squared is 225. We could keep going with this list as long as we wanted to, but, you know, th these are ones that you should know. At the bare minimum, up to 10 squared, but going a little bit beyond, never hurt anybody. Now, 8 isn't on this list. What that means is that there is no nice number that we can square and get 8. Um, if we plug into the calculator, we get 2 point something, 2.9-ish, um, but it goes on forever and it doesn't give us an exact answer. Um, what we want to be able to do is simplify this as much as we can. We want the smallest number possible underneath the radical, underneath this square root symbol. So how do we do that? Okay, um, this list of numbers that I typed out becomes very important. So, square root of 8. Can we write 8 as something times something, where one of those somethings comes from our list down here? And we can. It's 4 times 2. And what we can do with square roots now is we can break it into two pieces. Square root of 4 times square root of 2. And the square root of 4, well, that is a nice number, 2 square root 2. Um, how about square root of 75? 75 is not on this list of perfect squares. Can we write it as something times something? Where one of those numbers is on this list, and we want the biggest number possible. Hopefully you're seeing that we can do 3 times 25. Square root of 3, square root of 25. Which one of those can we square root nicely? The 25. 5 square root of 3 is the simplified form of square root 25. So let me put a couple down here for you to try. Um, and then restart the video once you get them done. So we're going to go with... Two hundred forty three square root two forty three and then the square root of thirty two. So pause the video, give these a try. Okay, what what perfect square goes into two forty three? Eighty one does three times. Why did we choose eighty one? Because the square root of eighty one is 9. Square root of 3 stays square root of 3. There's nothing we can do. Now, I'm going to do this next one two ways because you might have gone one of two directions. You might have looked at this and said, okay, 4 goes in. 4 times 8. Square root of 4 is 2 times the square root of 8. But now here's the problem. Square root of 8 can be simplified. Square root of 8 can go one step further. 8 is 4 times 2. So that we have the 2 times 2, that square root of 4 is 2. This becomes 4 square root of 2. Now is there a way we could have avoided doing two steps here? You bet there is. 
What's a bigger number on the list that goes into 32? 16. What's the square root of 16? It's 4. So you simplify 4, a square of 32, no matter which way you do it, is 4 root 2. But one way is a little quicker than the other. Bottom line, whenever we have a radical as our answer, whenever we have an irrational number, whenever we have a square root where the number isn't on our list of perfect squares, we want to simplify that as far as we can go.